Hey, what's going on? Today, let's discuss the refractometer. Portable refractometer. Portable refractometer? Oh, what is a refractometer? What is this thing? All right, uh, refractometer is an interesting, interesting tool. And let me actually pull this one out. It's still in its bag. How about that? Um, and the reason for this is because here is my nasty old one, <laughs> which it's not working that well anymore. It's uh, started to become broken. Um, so one of the upsides these days is that refractometers are pretty, pretty cheap. They really aren't that expensive, even though this does smell kind of funny. I open up the box here and I realize it does kind of smell a little bit funny. Uh, but they are super cheap these days. They actually are only, uh, this one was $11.99 uh, when I picked it up uh, because it was 100% time to get a new one. Uh, what does a refractometer do? What is the whole big idea? Uh, a refractometer will give you an accurate reading of either your salinity or your sugar content in water. Um, when I started, when I was first introduced to the refractometer is when I was making gelato uh, for a, you know, crazy Italian restaurant, basically, uh, just to give you an explanation there. Uh, used to make uh, gelato and whatnot, and these things were super expensive back then. That was a long time ago. Um, and uh, it was super expensive and we had to protect it with our lives. I actually used to take the thing and put it in the safe, believe it or not. Uh, but nowadays, like I said, this thing was only um, $11.99, so $12, and was prime shipping, so it was free. Um, but basically what these are is you can get yourself some of your water, which initially when you get this out of the box, you have to dial it in. So. You got a little dial here that will help you zero the dial out basically with distilled water, okay? So with distilled water, you'll be able to get this right down to zero um, and you'll be able to dial it in back here and get yourself an accurate reading of uh, what your salinity is. Well, sugar content will, like I said, show up the same, uh, but this is, in my opinion, the most important tool that you can have for your reef. Um, nowadays, it actually is one of the cheapest things that you can have for your reef, but this is imperative to be used. Uh, the float uh, salinity testers are just not that accurate. They really aren't. Uh, from time to time, they can be off quite a bit or from user error or have a bubble or something on them that could really throw you off. And you need your salinity to kind of be spot on. Um, things in your reef can be off a little bit here and there, whether it be calcium or magnesium or whatever, those things can be off for a little while uh, and not be that huge of a deal. But if your salinity is off um, overnight for a day, two days, something like that, you could have a serious problem on your hands. Um, whereas, you know, deficiencies and stuff like that, you'll be able to uh, add back into the water column. But salinity, it's no good to have it be way off for uh, quite a while. Now, I know from a lot of people's experience out there that they'll, they'll say, hey, that's not that big of a deal, but honestly, in my opinion, uh, it's even probably even more important than temperature. I mean, your temperature can be off a little bit and that's not that big of a deal, but uh, if your salinity is set to say 2.7 um, and it's at 2.2, right? Just because of uh, you know, user error from you know, reading the float thing wrong, um, that could be a serious, serious crash coming up, uh, and you not really be aware of it because, uh, you know, there really just isn't like a monitor. I mean, there might be a salinity monitor somewhere. I guess if you, you know, there are automated salinity monitors out there, but they need to be calibrated too. I don't know. And they're way more expensive than $12. So in my opinion, this is just way more valuable considering how cheap it is too. Um, and really easy to operate and you can test two, three, four, five, six thousand times, a million times, uh, however many times you want until basically it gets 
like all beat up and nasty like this one and then it's time to, to get a new one but uh, it's a uh, quite the useful little tool um, and it really will help you dial in your salinity get it spot spot on um, and I would highly recommend anybody to pick one up for sure if you uh, if you have a reef tank like me um, as you guys know you know that uh, I'm a planted tank guy planted tanks kind of are my thing that definitely is my thing this reef tank is my hobby so um, I just try to give you guys some hobby pointers and let you guys know uh, some of the kind of cheaper ins and outs things that you could do uh, to help out with your hobby tank um, you know this is just one of the things that I do with my hobby tank here this thing's 180 gallons and I, I have a real tendency to keep this thing pretty spot on because of uh, things just like utilizing a refractometer makes my life just way easier so maybe this is something that you could look into give it a shot try it out um, I think it's just a worthwhile $12 investment for you know exact salinity reading so uh, I may or may not have missed on any points or anything like that if I did I'd love to hear your comments do you have some comments complaints kudos whatever uh, go ahead and throw them down below and I'll do the best to, to respond to them whenever I got time to do it all right that's a short video for today later